45. Hey, check it out. This is Eminem, and the streets is watching. The affiliates have taken over the wheel. Right here on the streets is watching on Shade 45. Drama like the DJ.com. Drama like the DJ.com. Drama like the motherfucking DJ. Ah, I'm sorry. Shit, don't be hitting me. Oh, no. Drama like the DJ. We're about to say, I'm camera. It ain't Shade 45 Friday night. Uh, motherfucking affiliates, we in this bitch, man. DJ Drama, trendsetter DJ Sense. I told you. I went to an amazing show the other night. Um, some of you have probably witnessed. Others, hopefully, will get a chance in your lifetime to see our future show. It, 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 I got him in the building. Is it always that crazy? Nigga. It's been crazier. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? I'm okay. Um, shout out to the whole, whole <laughs> squad in here. Um, remind me some names. I know some names, but I don't. Um, can we just go around the room and tell everybody who's in the building? So that's funny. <laughs> My G. This that young Haji. The youngest. I'm Tyra. Damo. Hi, I'm Jasper. Um, shout to Mike G, first and foremost, because he had the ill uh, changes yesterday, the ill set changes. Oh, uh, you. He, he would do your thing, he would go back, have a jersey on. <laughs> and it seemed like a a, 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 a fan favorite, because every time you spit when you was done, everybody made sure to say Mike G. So I didn't forget Mike G. Mike Sorry. motherfucking G. <laughs> um, you also said during the show, you know, I, I was bugging because you guys really don't have a set list. Nah. I mean, we have like... Like say okay, certain songs that you an hour and thirty minutes is probably how many songs you do in an hour and thirty minutes like twenty. We have a set eight or ten that we play each time. Other uh -huh. than that, well, they're in random order. Though. Yeah, they're in random orders and shit. Um, so yeah, and there was a, a female that was y'all DJ. Yeah, that's Sid. Okay, where's Sid at? At home, she has the food. Oh shit! So that must make it even worse when your DJ's not there. Yeah, you? but we swag it out. It's yeah. cool. Definitely that. It's a hundred times better when she's there, but we're big guys. We um, can handle it. I, I want to talk about the art of fucking crowd surfing and and um, stage diving. Because I, I seen your tour manager basically trying to explain it to somebody yesterday. About, you know, when you run up to the stage, you got to turn around. You gotta, you know, you gotta hit the crowd at a certain angle. Have you gotten better over time? Is there some shit y'all discuss uh, when, yeah. you know, before you do it? It is, you just do it. It was never, I don't know, the first time it happened was in New York. I remember I just fucking, I don't know, I just thought jumping in the crowd would be fun. And then we just ended up doing it more because it was fun. And then as time passes, you realize you just can't jump. You but gotta actually do certain shit midair so you don't get fucked up but i see you've probably figured out how how the crowd's gonna react because you all tyler you yourself only oh did. shit <laughs> oh my god <gosh. laughs> oh fuck. Other high, bro. Hey, that's fucked up though read uh, the caption ain't nothing wrong with him oh no, oh, there's nothing wrong with him. Oh, that's fucked up. Now I feel like a dick. Why? There's nothing wrong with him. Ain't nothing wrong oh, with him. Oh, his mom died. That's why I said read the caption. Oh, he's 13. Ugly. Oh, his mom died. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I feel like a dick now. You thought it was a problem with him. You're not laughing no, at his mom. No, I'm not laughing at his hair. Okay, I'm sorry. That shit's funny. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and lie. I feel bad for him, but damn, that nigga's hair cuts funny. Anybody know but yeah, about you got to like do certain shit so you don't get fucked up in the air. And you just learn over time. And stuff, and you, you can't jump where it's a lot of girls at either. Why? Why? I yeah, do that all the time. They're not gonna catch I'm not. I'm not trying. Are they catching you? Jasper almost broke his broke girl. Yeah, they head. catching me. They yeah, catching me. I'll be fucking jumping like yeah. bitches too. I just jump on top of them. And, like exactly. they might not catch me, but I'm like, I'll just like be on top of them. What happened to your arm? I was skateboarding. What happened to your arm? I got attacked by a bagel. A bagel. Like a, it was a wild bagel. Yeah, a wild bagel. <laughs> you never been around a wild bagel? <laughs> nah, I missed that. Yeah, it was a big shootout in Los Angeles. Wild bagel he got was loose. Oh, it shit. Was like, come here. And I was like, oh, I was in the midst of it. And helicopters and shit. It was on the news. Uh -huh. I missed it. Yeah, I did I did see on the news, though, that you got kicked off a stage in L.A. at a, at a Gucci Man concert. Though. Oh, that was the greatest night of my life. Yeah. 
that was the greatest week of my life with that night. Why would they kick you off though? They didn't know it was you? Nah, it was like, well, the security for the venue was already pissed at me. They choked me out till they realized it was me. And they was like, I'm sorry. Then I went back in that motherfucker. And then Gucci and his people told me to just come on stage. But they didn't let his security guard nigga know. So when I jumped on stage, they just thought I was just some random nigga going on stage. So the nigga got me by the neck and like picked me up and threw me. I landed on my feet and they brought me back. And then like, yeah. It wasn't as crazy what, as it What was seemed. the conversation with Gucci after that? I went, I, well, we got kind of like kicked out. So we oh, shit. Okay. Like right after the show, because security was not fucking with us. At all. It was an awesome fucking week. No, yeah. it, what else happened that week? Huh? What else happened that week? A lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> it was a trampoline world. Nice we did yeah, go to a trampoline world. world. What, are, what, are, what are our future groupies like? Because yeah, <laughs> you know, last night you had a couple white uh, and white bitches, a couple Johns making rain at the show. Yo, I don't um, know where that was. Who was that? That was, yeah, that was some Magic God, City son. dancers. I picked yeah. that shit. No, that was the real deal. Serious? Yeah. They were. Why didn't no, anyone the say that? I told that was the real that, deal. Yeah. I thought you said, "Yo, I know these girls that's gonna throw money." And I'm like, "Oh, okay," but I didn't know those were. Oh, you like, knew them. I know. I seen them throwing money, right? And I was like, shout out to the girl that threw money. Mm -hmm. She had, a, mm -hmm. she picked up a big ass bag and showed me. I was like, all right, <laughs> come on stage. And that was to the wrong song too. She threw you the can't Yonkers. make it rain the Yonkers. It looked tight. <laughs> it that shit looked tight, tight as fuck. Tight as fuck. But I came but up damn, on fifty fucking dollars. Those were magic shit. Like so, that, that was the real thing. Yeah, you were, no, that was. I just knew y'all was gonna come with a story for that. They were trying to go to the club and spend all their money, and I was like, I was with them. I was like, all right, come on, y'all. Nobody got up. I didn't go to magic. Magic, bro. magic, bro. Hold on, come to, to the mic like, and tell this. Go ahead. All right, look. <laughs> Last night, I told those chicks. Hey, X made it rain. I told them to make it rain. I wasn't here. I invited them to the tour bus. He wasn't there, all right? No. How'd you wasn't I there? Him, no, he wasn't there. I invited them to the tour bus. He was in the back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, we about to go no, to the No, he club. wasn't there. They was ready to spend some money. Okay, go ahead. We went to go get their cars, because we ain't got our cars out here. It was like four of us. I went with them to get the cars. I come back. They all on the bus. I'm like... All right, y'all, let's go. They trying to throw some money. These niggas didn't move. I wasn't there. They did not move. I they was just I, why y'all went there? I had girlfriends. I actually would have went to no, fucking no, Magic City. Matter, oh, matter. okay. I went I to the hotel and passed out. Yeah. Yeah. It was turned down. Yeah, so, okay, so let's get back, though. Uh, the, 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 the average I future female groupie. It's white. It's white. <laughs> <laughs> Not a white bitch. Except player. for in Atlanta. Yeah, you said that on stage too. Nah, man, I ain't never seen that many black girls at a show in my life. That was amazing. A couple of them got a little mad when, they, when the girls came on stage. I seen them, they was up there. They was singing every word. Once some girls got on stage, they was right to their phones. <laughs> 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 they get their ass on stage. Um, Our Future's in the building, man. New project out. Um, The the, the white guy on the cover. Who is that? That's Lucas. Okay. Mr. Versetti. That's Versetti. Lucas Versetti. Which is because that doesn't do me too much justice. I don't know that. It's just like that's, that's just so nah, white that's the homie. It's that's a homie. homie. That's okay. Damo doesn't like yeah. him. Yeah. Shit. You don't fuck with him. I don't fuck with him. Why? He has an awesome. Because <laughs> he has an awesome cover. Because he's stupid. Because he looks like he an ostrich. Did you like want to hit him when you saw the cover? Like you just wanted to hit who? this kid. Like who chose it? I thought the cover would be cool. If I went to Best Buy and see that fucking cover, I'd I, I get it. Plus, it makes an awesome hoodie. Mm -hmm. I just see, I just see that cover and I'm trying to punch him in the face. <laughs> I think it's hot as hell out here. I ain't wearing no hoodie out here. It's hot as fuck. Man. I mean, you gotta be careful wearing a hoodie these days. Anyway, you might get killed. Yup. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yup. You talking about, you talking about old boy? Yeah. Little 17 year old? Yeah. Yo, fuck that other nigga, yo. Nigga was like 28, yo. Getting your ass whooped by a 17 year old. You gonna have to murk and you a bitch, my nigga. Yeah. Step your game up, my nigga. You a bitch, my nigga. You don't know about that story? That story's fucked up, man. This guy, this dude Zimmerman. I got He, uh... I thought he just shot him. I didn't know they got in a fight. Yeah. Well, I guess they're saying that he got in some type of fight. Some little altercation or whatever. But he, he killed him, I mean. Oh, I didn't know they got in a fight. With some skills yeah. in his pocket, bro. He was whooping right. his ass. That's, what was That's probably what happened. Why you shoot somebody with skills in their pocket? Yeah. What was he gonna do? Beat you with the skittles? <laughs> y'all think y'all think it's possible that you know in 2012, if if he doesn't get any time, that you know people will riot and yeah, cause shit could go. Ain't Kim Kardashian crazy. trying to get somebody in jail for throwing yeah, flour in her face? Yeah, yeah, somebody got it. killed and ain't going to jail. That shit's stupid. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, that nigga wasn't even eating flowers. She got flour. Yeah, yeah. Flour. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. flour on her. What? They're trying to convict him and not the dude who chipped. Convict him? What? For the one? I say we just show Maybe try to fry the bitch. Let's <laughs> 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 um, Our future's here, man. Fuck all that bullshit, man. 
<laughs> now, Tyler, when, when I seen you at the show yesterday, I mean, you said something that's funny because first time I had, you know, when I when I got up on uh, the movement and what was going on and, and saw Yonkers and everything, and I, I think I had sent a tweet out and I put a couple names of who I was watching in 2011, and you wrote me back like, yo, if you could scream and yell on one of our mixtapes, that'd be fucking crazy. And I knew that it was kind of like, you meant it, but it was still a little bit of funny joke shit and you no, know I meant that shit fuck that me and Dawg talk about that shit we gotta get <laughs> we gotta get DJ Drama to yell and for the first 20 seconds just keep replaying that motherfucker <laughs> and then drop it cause I think that was like a little bit after we dropped our actual mixtape I think it was Radical and like the only thing that was missing was somebody just yelling and hosting we and doing like, a part 2 by the way if you we doing a yeah. part yeah. <laughs> cough cough I thought we was doing but, but you know Shut up, You know sometimes like Because like, All y'all from Cali right Everybody's from Cali yeah. You know what I mean like I'm from Connecticut Okay Tyler, <laughs> Y'all generation to me Like a lot of artists Grew up and You know Or, or put out projects And didn't have a lot of mixtapes You know what I mean Coming from When I was coming up And the new the new cats around the time Was using mixtapes Then you know Y'all and uh, other various artists Wasn't using DJs Excuse me Wasn't using DJs For their mixtapes but then you said, you know, you fucked with the, the Pharrell tape and everything and so forth. So, so tight. you know, it's just kind of interesting. Like, I wanted to ask, like, did you listen to Gangster Girls growing up? Like, were y'all hearing Hell that yeah. shit out there? Yeah. For a fact, you can it's avoid it, though. Yeah, you, especially, like, we were freshmen when that shit really, High school. really popped off. Mm -hmm. Like, when Lil Wayne was just dropping shit and niggas just dropping tapes. Like I think that, right. was, that was put everybody on the Lil Wayne shit. Did y'all know, like, mm -hmm. coming up that... Like, is this the lane as artists, uh, and you know, especially in hip hop, that y'all envisioned for yourself, or is, was it a thing that kind of just happened? Hood niggas, it was hood niggas. In oh there. yeah, moshing. It was stupid. Hood no, no, and you got skinny white kids. It was a dad. I pointed them out. It was like oh, a whole section of dads mm -hmm. up there, and that you you would just think they're with the son, but they knew the lyrics too. So it was wild. Do you do y'all feel like you have an advantage over other artists because you don't have to chase singles and you're not? Worried Hell about yeah. you know how many spins you, you see get how on the stupid radio. Our album cover is. is. Yeah, like we could do shit like that. I don't think we have one single do what? Shit. Like that could just be a radio single. On the whole table. But do y'all care? No, I personally don't. You I don't. just like doing it because it's think fun. The tape is hard. Plus, I don't have anything better to do because I suck at sports. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do you watch it? Nope. Nah, I don't I watch like sports. Really None of y'all. I watch it. I, I do. Know Yo, you watch it? Yeah. Basketball? Yo, Lakers. Lakers fans? Yep. Yes. I don't, well, I don't. Die Lakers. hard. I don't fuck with the Lakers just they to piss them off, but I don't know shit about basketball. Die hard. Lakers. I do like the Celtics jersey. Have y'all you know, met the Lakers? No. Oh, we met Ron Artest. Oh, we did meet Ron Artest. We met Ron Artest. He's the shit. He knew who y'all was, right? Met a world peace. He's tight. Yeah, he's a good dude. You know, he did a Gangster Girls. What? I gotta hear that. We about to go get that. It's called King of Queens. Yeah, we gotta get that right there. Is that when he played for the Kings? No, but you know he's from Queens, though. So hence the title on that. I just thought he played for the Justin Bieber just dropped a new record, too. I know that's the homie. Nah, nah, nah. He had the word swaggy trending. Are you serious? Swaggy trending for a while. Swaggy, bro. Swaggy fucking sucks for that. That's my nigga, though, yeah. Um, you, you ever think it'll be a point where y'all gonna work together? Look. I don't know. We'll have to see. You have to see. <laughs> so you can't it. speak on. I don't know yet. Have y'all worked? Have y'all worked together? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> there might be something in the tuck. You'll see. That's kind of hot. Is it your song or is it his song? I don't know yet. You haven't figured out whose song it is. You're wearing a nice shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, how was South by Southwest this year? Did y'all go? We did. Yeah. Yeah. How did y'all not go this year? We went because we performed last, last year. Last year, I remember. 2011. And it was man. big when y'all did it. Yeah, dude. They, that shit too, was though. the most. I love being out there in Texas oh, man, so much. That. Yeah, I missed that. We so went to Fun shit, Fun Fest too. Yeah. And every time we're out there, it's just fun. But our boys trash talk. They were out there and shit. And fuck, I wanted to be down there. So, so this is my first time I went. And that shit was crazy because I haven't really, you know, you know, I, you go to shit like the All Star and 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 uh, the Grammys and you know it's that same caliber of artist, but 
for South by Southwest, it'd be like everybody was there and the vibe was just chill and, you know, every, you know everybody's together from the underground to the Little Wayne's and the T.I.'s and the Fifths and the M and everything. But on the other side, too, you know, there was a lot of corporate sponsors involved this year and I was I was noticed that y'all weren't there. So, you know, I was just kind of curious, Can you, do you see it being able to still keep up you know that level of excitement and, and what it meant to y'all, or, or do you think it's kind of, kind of? Oh no! I mean, me personally, I still get excited for the little shit, like a lot. So that that'll just never go away. But that's just who I am personally. I'm not jaded yet. Mm -hmm. At all. Have you ever met like an Asian person with like regular eyes? Oh my god! Think about it. Yeah. It's kind of random though. Is that possible? That was awkward. It oh might not man. Be. <laughs> Asians do no. that. Did you did you see that uh, Moni Love responded back to you about you know your comment? Who? Moni, I mean not Moni Love. Excuse me, MC Light. Oh, she said something. Yeah. yeah. yeah what really, did she say? Yeah, she's quite upset with you. About what? I didn't say anything mean. What did you say? I said let's get it popping, like, yes, which right. like let's, is not actually confirming anything. Okay. Let's get around it some, let's get it popping like MC Light around uh -huh. some dice. Uh -huh. I don't know if she's gay or not. It was a joke, but mm -hmm. if she took offense, so she, be it. She said that you know you're in a position that you know people listen and duh. That's her, why I said it. Her, 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 her feelings are hurt. Don't she and you didn't, song called F that you didn't think about her feelings when you write your lyrics, you know. I don't think about anyone's feelings when I'm writing shit. What about me? What if that was what I felt to say at the time? What about my fucking feelings? Okay? How do you think I felt when I wrote it, okay? Don't come at me. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> no, if her feelings, I'm, I'm not going to apologize, but I didn't mean for her feelings to get hurt. Usually people like that in a position, you would think they would laugh it off and go on with their day. But, I mean, I guess she caught feelings. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. I'm fine. What if MC Light kept caught my fade? Her and Rod Digger. Oh, my gosh. They'll fuck you up. They'll beat my ass. They're wild. F you, fool. Congratulations, the new show on Adult Swim. Thank you. Loiter Squad? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. That's wild. I hate your twig. That's fine. <laughs> you wanna speak on that, Lionel? Come here, Lionel. Oh, hey, that's hey, bitch. Hey. Buff bitch. Buff bitch. Buff <laughs> bitch. Tell us, tell me how that came about. Hey, how did the show come apart? I forgot. Nigga, I don't know. Ask Jasper. Hey, Jasper, how did the show come apart? I forgot. Basically, I met these niggas and I was like, hey, put me on TV. Uh -huh. I was like, B, all right, and we just did it. Now I got money. So. So when you when you met them, how did you know who they were? They, you said these are the people from Adult Swim, and nah, we uh, had to rob them. Yeah, no, nah, actually, shit. like the real story though. <laughs> yeah, I fuck with drama, so I can't even troll. They this came nigga. to uh, one of our shows, a yeah. guy named Nick that uh -huh. works for uh, Adult Swim and Cartoon Network, uh -huh. and then from there we had a meeting, talking about it, and then from there it just kind of just kept going up, 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 and that's you know we was on TV. That's crazy. On the team. That's huge. How did you feel about the response that y'all got from the first episode? I don't even know what the response no, people is. People think that shit funny. I don't, I don't care. I don't like. You know, I, I don't, don't like doing that, that shit. That shit. No, no, it no, sucks. No, the fun. I read it. Mm -hmm. like I think the shit is funny. I mean, I know what it's like. Cause like releasing music, and then the, instead of people just actually seeing if they enjoy it, they just want to watch it just to critique it mm -hmm. instead of just watching it. That shit sucks. So I don't like to. I don't even want to know what anyone thinks. I didn't even tweet after the fucking shit aired. They like it. So you didn't look at your responses, no I didn't nothing. Do shit. Do you normally look at your shit? I, or look, I truthfully don't like reading my mentions on Twitter. Uh -huh. I try to stay off as much as I can. Because I just don't like reading shit. Positive so, or negative? Somebody yeah. hate on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. I don't like reading shit. And it's so easy for somebody to just directly send it to you. Yeah. <laughs> and not be in a place to even have a comment. Yeah. Um, shout to the homie Frank Ocean too. I was hoping he yeah, would be he at the Atlanta he show. Yeah, he wasn't here. Yeah, he's at home with the flu too. Is he? And Earl has the flu. Mm -hmm. And he just had the flu. And Clancy well, had. Everybody was sick. Hey, it's Cause they're all together. Yeah, and they all lick each other's buttholes. <laughs> yeah. Does he fucking spit? All dusty. He's been popping up here and there. I know. I think he did the New York show, right? He came, yeah, he came to New York with us the whole time. <laughs> you um, don't even have a lineup. You know, <laughs> him being part of, of our future, like, you know, the, the fan base is, is so incredible and so large because I heard Frank uh, is opening up for Coldplay on tour. Um, what, what's what's y'all relationship like, you know, as a group, as a crew? Seeing that it kind of 
almost feels like, you know, his lane is, is a little different, but it still makes sense within the whole conglomerate. I mean, I don't know, because, like, I'm really close friends with Damo, mm -hmm. but he smokes and drinks and does shit that I don't personally do, but we don't let that really, like, make up our friendship or anything. And same thing with Frank. Like, most people think is he fucking sings, and he's the more mature one that he really wouldn't fuck with a bunch of dumb young niggas and shit, so. Is he older than y'all? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's the wise one. He's the wise one. He does old nigga shit, <laughs> like eat yogurt and bread. Like that old. <laughs> All right, oatmeal. Like every day though, with no fo not the the one with no flavor though. Oh yeah, yeah. that's old nigga. Pop tarts with no ice. Oh, he eats pop tarts with no ice. Hey, Frank might but that nigga eats pop tarts with no ice. What the fuck's like a bread tart? <laughs> it's like a, it's like tarts. bread with fruit. <laughs> that's exactly like what that it nigga is. put an apple with bread in it. What is he <laughs> buying though? They don't even know those exist. <laughs> That's like a pot tart, like from the pot tart brand. Oh my god. god. <laughs> he orders that shit off the internet. So <laughs> 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 basically, it's only one color until you buy into it, huh? Yeah, it's just got yeah. apple only, right? It's like a beige person. Oh, they have he had an apple. They're like a beige person. You bite him and they start bleeding, like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, but I, I was kind of shocked, though, you saying that because even when I came on the bus yesterday, Real relaxed and calm, and you was on in the back just chilling. It didn't yeah, sound I was like look, you, I was looking at the computer. Yeah, it didn't sound like you had any <laughs> any whole plans for the moment. Yeah, I was. And, I went to fucking sleep. So Tyler off stage is a little different than the Tyler on. Nah, stage. Nah, I'm usually as hyper and annoying. It's just that after shows, man, niggas be done. Uh -huh. Like I niggas be wanting to pass shows, out. Uh -huh. Come on. I'll be putting in work. I can't feel my back right now. Can't feel my back. Pause. <laughs> yeah, <you> <laughs> oh, y'all about to go overseas. You excited? Hell yeah. Yo, Mike G is excited to go to the Czech Republic because he know niggas out there. You know people Ain't out there. Is that right, Mike G? I don't he know niggas out there, yo. <laughs> uh, um, what, what's your future in, uh, in acting like? <laughs> oh. I really do want to. Have, have you been offered any roles yet? Yeah, and I don't want to. I'm a. I don't. Nah, I'm. I'm good. You're not trying to do none of them. Not now. Roles, huh? Nah, you they all trying to. Disney. Nah, because nah, I can see you going that lane though. Nah, they won't let me. Like all the stupid fucking roles I get is some serious. It's literally all the same roles. Like yo, it's like it's almost like you know, it's it's weird, but it's like you know, <laughs> rebel. You're a rebel. You're <laughs> fucking <laughs> wild, and you one of those. You're crazy teenager. You're wild. So this is the thing. This kid, he hates his fucking parents, and he has to find a way to get to superstar with the mic. And rapping is his only way out the hood. Damn. That's how they explain it. Like, really? <laughs> but he's a rebel. But he's a rebel, and all his friends are wild skateboarders. So that's his lane. <laughs> Like They're really ball. thinking outside the box, huh? It's like Adam Allen Compton in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> he raps, but he skates. And they don't like our movie <laughs> ideas either. And no one likes my... I have so many movie ideas. Ostrich in a plastic bag. It's this crazy yeah, movie idea I came up with. No one likes it. Ostrich in a plastic bag. I met up with the nigga who made Saw. Okay. And he's like, I want to do a movie. And I'm like, okay, here, listen to my movie. How'd you want to meet him? I don't know. He wanted to meet me. Wow. And it sucks because everyone okay. thinks, oh, like... Like, they think I want to make some horror movie. Uh -huh. I hate horror movies. Uh -huh. Horror movies are tight, though. I mean, like, why, like, you yeah, would understand why they would think that, though, right? Yeah, After I want to make comedy. Okay. It sucks, but they don't look past one video, so they wouldn't I think that's. That. I think that's not far off. That's on, that could be on the horizon. That, that's kind of what I was thinking. I mean, what did I think about? First role yesterday, when I, when I was watching on stage, I was like, man, definitely has a future in acting. I think I thought about, what's the movie called where Andre yeah. played the basketball player? With not Andre. No, 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 no. Uh, Semi-pro, semi -pro, something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm funnier funny than Andre. Funnier than Andre. Yeah. That's my, he's awesome. Yeah. I didn't think that he could come awesome. with the comedy. We're in Atlanta, like too. He's nice. Yeah. Um, our future is here, man. I appreciate y'all coming through. No. I can sit here and ch chop it up with y'all all day, though. You could talk to Mike G or Mike. Tell him so. What you wearing, Mike G? <laughs> The same shirt as other two Got the biggest. high shirt, you know, shout out to Duns, we out here. Haji, Haji changed a couple times yesterday too, I think. No, I did. You did, right? No. You didn't change? Nah. So, Mike, you was the only one with the, with the set change, with the uh, clone change? Yeah. I, oh, you styled I that. I coordinate wardrobe changes. That's okay. Fag. Your mom.
Oh, Benito gonna whoop your ass. Hey, <laughs> not one Benito. Hey, mom, that. mom, that was Mike G that said that. So when you see him catch that nigga hands, she like me. Man. You know, nah, my mom will beat you. My <laughs> mom will fuck a lot of us up in here. Your mom is—is is, is your mom like really a disciplinarian kind of she conservative? She hood. My mom she is. Shit. Both sides, man. She's scared. She's on, she on your head. Like she, like one minute she's, oh, that's nice, uh -huh. and really, hey, and like I seen her beat niggas up. <laughs> She hood, yeah. I don't know how to explain it. I wouldn't fuck with her. She snaps. She be nice and let you know. She yeah, like, nigga, fuck, fuck you. I'll kill you and your kids. I'm like, I ain't got no kids. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all went to the same high school? Nope. Nah, oh. I went to high school with him. I went to school with him for like, okay. I didn't go to school with time? nobody. Okay, how long do people go to school for usually? September to June, right? Yeah. But you got to count yep. summer school, too. Okay, for 10 months, mm -hmm. or like 9 months, I went to school with these niggas for not long. Um, same neighborhoods or different neighborhoods? Nah. Oh, I lived across the street from him. That's oh. about it. Yeah. And what what part of L.A.? Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Yeah. Okay. I grew up in Inglewood. Inglewood. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Hell yes. You're wild. And Hawthorne is what? Not the hood? Really. It's stupid. It's so weird. It's like it's like hood, but it's like all together. It's not that hood. You got nice parts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's, it still <laughs> has its fucked up parts that you don't go to. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. They gonna wait for you to get back to LA? What? Hood weak niggas? For real? Hot dog? Tango fresh you when you go to his man shop. Like hey man, I'm gonna do a guy's hat. Hey yo, 88 Shape 45, man. Our future is here as Tyler takes the motherfucking picture. We the fuck up out of here, man. We in this bitch. Holla at us. Wait, wait. Can wait, I why say you something? Start yelling. Else? Yell more. <laughs> why can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Um. Oh shit. I, I think I didn't think he was gonna say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got nothing ready. Nah. Who does? Come on, man. Mike G. Mike G. Mike G. Mike G. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Mike G. You gotta stop him. Oh, um, one zero seven nine. Hot Atlanta. Radio free.